Hello everybody, I am Boston from the Boston YouTube channel. Welcome back to Cartoons of Danganronpa. We are reacting to chapter one of the day life. I'm not going to react to the entire thing in one sitting just because it's really long. It's four hours long apparently. So, hey, we'll generally know when the body will show up at least. Hey, that's good. No sudden surprise. Well, I'm sure it's still going to be surprising, but regardless, I am super excited to see where this goes. So, yeah, Monokuma is here. <laughs> I don't know how he got here or why he's collided with the cartoon universe. Maybe he snuck into all of their worlds or whatever. Whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> Family Guy? Family Guy Funny Moments Part 11? What? What? Bro, what? <laughs> I, I can't do this. I just love how comedic Thank this fan game is. Cleveland. I gotta talk to you about something very important. Oh. Well, what is it? Peter? What is it? Well, according to this, <laughs> only oh gosh. Of that yeah, guys, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Oh I God, really appreciate it. <laughs> hey, that's honestly way better than I get. More subscribers for this bit, Peter. <laughs> So, if you want to stay updated on cartoons and dang and rumpa and what? other stuff that this family is an update, then subscribe to that. <laughs> Peter Griffin is the uh, mastermind. Make sure you guys do it on this video. Just, just fucking awful. <laughs> and what are you going to do? With this I guy? love the crust. <laughs> <laughs> family guy jokes. I was not expecting an intro to be on. <laughs> that was that, done cringing yet? All right, let me explain a few things before we get into that. That was honestly a peak intro. Uh, I, I don't know how anyone would not subscribe after that. These videos are being made by a small team of people of two with a little extra help here and there. So it's like, yeah, it's made by a small team. It's fine. It's okay. As such, trying to expect the same level of quality as most other fannies out there. Honestly, I think this is quality on its own. It's like very unique and different compared to... A bunch of other fan games with like original character stuff like this is all like wacky characters coming together you know the process of creating this video started around january 2021 with the amount of time there's a lot of room for human errors god dang i don't even know when this actually released i think i don't even know i personally noticed that the pacing of certain scenes are a bit fast compared to others it's okay honestly i prefer a little too fast and a little too slow if you get me that and the audio quality from VAs to the audio balancing differs quite a bit. Not to my liking, but you got to bite the bullet sometimes. <laughs> That's fair. Otherwise, it might take 10,000 years, which, you know, sometimes it's okay. You know, it's fine if you want to take a very long time, but I get it when some people are like, you know what? I'm too busy. I, I, I can't focus on this for too much longer. Sucks, but I hope you enjoy anyway. Cool. Clearly, a lot of people seem to still like it. Oh, and last thing, please control yourself for whatever character dies. Oh, I'm going to throw chairs. I'm going to throw my monitor. <laughs> Every character has their fan and I love them all. There's no need to get aggressive about the outcome you didn't want or put others down for. Do people actually get upset about that? Do people actually like, no, this character shouldn't have died. This is bad writing. It's like, no, it's not. I mean, I think the more, more important than people that die are the characters that live because they're the ones you stick with the whole game. So that's what I mainly focus on when I'm thinking of, oh, did this, is the surviving cast good? Is the cast good? You know? I own nothing. All characters belong to their respective companies and copyright holders. Please don't snipe me. Uh-oh. <laughs> as long as there's no Nintendo characters, I think we'll be good. <laughs> we all know that Nintendo is. Oh, hi. Oh, I'm on a TV. Wait. Uh, oh, wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> it's just all these intros. What? <laughs> Welcome back, Blamaholics, to another oh, hi. episode of America's favorite time killer. Yeah, literally. Henry. And this is my I think I recognize his characters. We know you have a lot of choices for your entertainment. Out there. So yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Well, I do love my bang and bangins, you know. Sometimes I get the feeling that our loyal audience needs this art is good. More. Like what? Plan <laughs> is already a widely diverse series. Oh. Yeah, I think I do remember this a little bit. All of our shows have such wildly different styles and characters. We need 13, 16 more students. I don't know. <laughs> we here at Kablam know how much you love cramming those cartoons into your cranium. What? Celebrate that. We've come up with a new show that'll tickle your funny bone, giggle gland. It's all about them all just coming together, having a good old time, having tea. Introducing everyone's new favorite mascot. Oh, are they gonna try to take over this game and be like, no, we're killing? Oh, oh, never mind. These guys seem to be praising Monokuma a little bit too much. You've been brainwashed. He's also the star of our new segment, Everybody Watch as he pulls dastardly pranks on the school. Yeah, this is a very good prank. School made up of ordinary students who try to keep him as far away as possible. He'll be making his world debut right after this episode of Action League Next. 
How do they still think this is like a legit killing game? I'd be like, I am, I am on so much. Oh, here we go. Oh, something cooking, always looking. What? Oh man, oh no. Cartman's probably gonna be a piece of shit to everyone. Be a dicky do. Oh well. Well, you know what? It'll be fun. It'll certainly be entertaining to watch for sure. Uh oh. So whose stupid idea of a joke is this? I don't know. Someone with a lot of money. And I'll let you keep some of your teeth. Oh, did they think someone amongst them is doing this? My bet's on the green kid. <laughs> yeah, Eddie actually all did all this. What would ever make you think that I could create a scenario like this? Yeah. I feel like anyone has the power to do something like this. Oh, thank you for that. Well, I think we got a million trillion food. Oh, boy. <laughs> Bro, <we> throw <laughs> throwing your own South Park character under the bus. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> Bubbles is like, I just want to live a peaceful life, okay? God damn it. I thought this school was supposed to help me. Oh, oh, I like that's in the corner. You can see, like... All the characters. Is this like the characters in the scene? So everyone's here right now. That's going to be uh, interesting for later. You know, if someone sneaks in the room, maybe. All right, all right, I'll calm down a little bit. Someone sneaks around. Everyone, we have to think about this rationally. Oh, you're telling this group of people to think rationally? <laughs> Good luck with that. The worst thing we could do in a situation like this is pen. <laughs> <laughs> well, good to be honest, I guess. It's a perfect time to bet. We're all going to please run around and scream in circles. Whatever that SpongeBob clip is. I'm not leaving this world until my superiors order it. Or, I mean, I don't want it to... <laughs> Wait, what was that last line? What was that all about? Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know what he said. Something about superiors. What's this guy's deal? Just coming in and telling us to go at each other's throats? I mean, I've been thinking about it already, but what the heck? <laughs> what kind of psycho does this? Someone's gonna say the line of, Someone here might be thinking about murder already. I can already see it coming. I can sniff it from miles away. Did we do something to upset the bunny? <laughs> what kind of problem could that thing possibly have with us? You guys are bad cartoons, so I'm fixing you guys. I can fix you. <laughs> New York because some kind of bribe? Perhaps. I don't know. We're betting. I'm, I'm assuming it's just betting amongst like other cartoons. Be like, my series will survive the longest. No, my series is. Probably something like that. <clears throat> well, I'm not sure about that. Also, sorry about that. I was drinking my Pepsi. Maybe if I was just people like Jenny, Blossom, Gas, and I, then I could see this as a way to bribe the top scientists in the world for our release. Yeah, we have a lot of money. We can do this, right? We're all, some of us are rich, but... What'd be the point in capturing someone like us? Knock, knock, knock for entertainment of us because we love cartoons and we love watching them murder each other. We love turning innocent shows into something very violent. No doubt about it. This floor is definitely made of what? <laughs> I mean, good observation, I guess. We're making some progress. Someone like her. Charlotte would not be, be of any of use to anyone. Was damn. Is that your sister you just threw under the bus like that? I've eaten moldy clams less stupid than this. <laughs> oh, thanks, Vanetta. I don't think that was a compliment, but sure, if you take stupidity as like a good thing. <laughs> I don't think that was a compliment. What I said. See, me and Morty are on the same page here. Well, there has to be some kind of reason to try to lock us up in the world's biggest school. This is really the world's biggest school? I guess maybe popularity-wise. How did they even manage to infiltrate this place in order to set all this up? Who knows? I don't think there's someone working on the inside, do you? Oh, you... Uh, there's definitely people here. We've already saw, like, three, four characters already outside of this game. You mean, like, a staff member? Oh, whoa. What was that? What are you doing that for? I don't like that face. Don't do that. <laughs> no, that's definitely not the case. You seem pretty confident in that answer, asshole. How dare you try to come to conclusions and come to game theories and all that. Want to explain why we're locked in a building made by your dad, Mr. and Mrs. Butlick? <laughs> Our dad would never do something like this, moron. Oh, that's starting to make me think that he's part of it. Not the mastermind, but like, you know, he did this to his children. Uh, he's not some kind of monster. Either way, why would he decide to put his own children through this? I don't know. Some parents are pretty terrible, you know. Hell, if I know, I can't predict the thought process of some cracked bad scientist. 
They just thought it was funny, you know, it was for goofs and laughs. Maybe you two were meant to be test subjects from the day you were born. Well, that's not a thought I want to think about. You little, uh-oh, no. <laughs> we're going to get physical here. Guys, stop it. We're not going to get anywhere by pointing fingers. Okay, you're taking control a little bit too much. That seems to be uh, death flag central there. Oh, I wasn't... Oh, I was getting somewhere. <laughs> I was about to kill everyone here. Then I could escape this game, right? Because there's no one else to verse me in the trial. You want to throw down purple-haired bitch? <laughs> you want some of this? Oh, Jerg. I should I, I. This is why Cartman was on the title card. This makes so much sense. You think you could fight me, Butterball? <laughs> what are these insults? <laughs> Cartman, would you stop provoking people for one goddamn second? No, this is my job. How else am I going to be remembered? <laughs> if the bitch wants to tussle and start the game already, that's up to her, Kyle. I'm going to kill everyone right in front of everyone. I could just brainwash everyone to th to the, in the trial somehow. I don't freaking know. Use Rick and Morty's gun or whatever that erases people's brain. I don't fucking know. Come on, swing at me. Why don't you give that father of yours some fucking data to work with? <laughs> don't tempt me. There actually is just going to be a fight that's going to break out. This is getting a little tense. I wouldn't jump in there, uh, Dipper. <laughs> Dipper, this is not your problem. We can leave now if you want. <laughs> if someone doesn't step up soon, we really might have a fight at our hand. And that's not my problem. Hey, everyone. Stop arguing. You don't have to resort to fighting each other. Let's all be BFFs here. You know, we all ended off on a, a rough note, but we could just automatically become friends. Ladies and gentlemen, someone... Yeah, but the violence is just getting good. Oh, I just want I was I was getting into this, you know, the story arc was getting pretty interesting. I've got a way for everyone to escape completely unharmed. Oh, really now? What? You do do? It's called Let Me Murder You. <laughs> then I'll escape and let you guys out later, but you guys will be dead. Wait, what? No, no, no. I'll just get a refibrator, revive you really quick. It won't take that long. Yes, and I'll always start with this. Oh, huh, what the <laughs> What's that supposed to do? <laughs> to mention, oh, who's it? Yeah. <laughs> you want to escape with this? We can just cut down the wall. It'll take 10 years, but hey, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get there slowly but surely. Now, what good are learning implements going to do now? <laughs> oh, we can use it to cut a hole in the wall. Wow. <laughs> we're going to get we're gonna get super far with this. We're not going to get caught or anything. Whoa, what? <laughs> that sprite. <laughs> I don't know why it's funny to me. I guess it fits the art style pretty well, but still... Please don't tell me you're always like this. Oh, he's literally actually just looking in the direction. It's no time for arts and crafts. Listen, if we take our mind off things, technically we're not in a killing game. I need escape routes, not paper mache. But this is our escape route. <laughs> I don't know what you're seeing. I can't see it. You see, with these scissors, I can cut a portal that will lead us to the outside of Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> no, they disabled magic in here. She's lost it. <laughs> That's coming from Eddie. If Eddie says you lost it, you most definitely have lost it. Like, she has something to begin with. What? No, I'm serious. This could be our ticket out of here. It's going to take us out, and we're going to teleport to, like, the mastermind. and be like, hey, you're not supposed to be here, and then we just get knocked out again. Well, she's supposed to be the ultimate magician. Oh, yeah, that is true. I think I have. I could believe that someone known for her for having supernatural powers could get us out of here. These walls are made of titanium or something. I don't know. A bl bedrock. <laughs> It'll be okay to at least hear her star out. I mean, you know what? Sure. What 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 other plans do we got? <laughs> oh, thanks, Jen. Rip each other's heads off. <laughs> you can't be suggesting that I listen to crazed rambling of this fairy tale princess girl. Bro, oh, have you seen that your cartoons? You all are cartoons. You're all drawings. You all can do wacky things. Like, I don't think this is too far out there, right? You know what? I've seen enough weirdness in my life <laughs> that I'm willing to let her let her try. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. What what else are we gonna do here? You know? Yeah, let 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 her try. I want to believe in magic powers. I'm gonna do a magic trick. Whoa! All right, is anyone else opposed to giving Star a chance? <laughs> I mean. Yeah, who would be opposed to it? Hey, look, we all, all finally unanimously agreed on something. Well, if no one else has a problem with it, I guess it's fine. Oh, were you about to be like, nah -uh or something? Yippee, magic tricks. <laughs> I'm glad they're all excited about it. With most people in agree, most people, I'm sure all of them are, and I guess people just don't want to speak up. And the naysayers silent, the stars cued to do this. Okay, I guess this, they didn't want to say anything. All right, everyone stand back. Here it goes. I know Cartman would probably not like this. Oh, what the? What did, oh, wait. Actually? Actually an escape? I told you. One portal, hold the onion. 
Someone's gonna go through like one of these portals and like get cut in half or something. <laughs> oh my god. That's so Whoa, it's so cool. It's just an LED on the ground. Oh, hopefully it's not doomed. All we have to do is enter this portal and we'll be home. End of the game. Thanks for watching the series. It's just black screen for the rest of this daily life. Wait, you've seen this before? What? <laughs> Damn, just the 50-50 reactions. Of course it'll work. Yeah, okay. I've done this like a bazillion times. And it's worked a billion bazillion times in one. Stars aligned herself with the newly opened gateway. Readily ready yourself to jump in and you can't actually jump through, it's some visible barrier. Oh, it's like just goes right in and out of the end. It didn't work. What a dumbass. I tried, okay. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> Why didn't I go through it? Uh oh. How are they able to like stop all, all their powers though? You must be super ultra powerful then <laughs> to do this. Yeah, just keep make just spawn a million portals everywhere, so nothing but portals take up the school. <laughs> Well, at least I respect her for going first, you know. If something bad were to happen, she would have eaten the bullet. We actually just sat there. <laughs> just all watching this. We're just like, just sitting there, arms crossed. Oh, Bubbles is always too nice. <laughs> all our powers are just fucked. <laughs> I'm surprised we have powers at all to do this to begin with, though. <laughs> so someone's... She could easily teleport with that. Wait, no, she can't. Never mind. Can she teleport around the school, maybe? I don't know. Well, that's a bust. Anyone else have any bright ideas? <laughs> that was literally a bright idea, because the portals were right. <laughs> Get it? Okay, I'll shut up. Uh, It's okay, Star. At least your heart was in the right place. <laughs> I like how there's sometimes they're like, oh, you know what? You try. You you did good. Pat on the back and some are like, you are the biggest idiot I've ever met. <laughs> like the polar reactions are. If you're not gonna, if you're not going to use magic to get out, if we're if we're not, okay, my bad. The next plan is to be brute force. Use the actual scissors to cut down the wall. <laughs> I'm listening. I'm, yes, you're on board with that. You're all about science stuff, so I'm surprised. If we take all the strongest people here and then use our common combined strength to break through the wall, we should be able to leave this school peacefully. <laughs> I wouldn't say breaking a wall is peaceful, but I wouldn't recall that peaceful. <laughs> Everyone keeps stealing my lines. <laughs> you sure that's a good idea? I mean, what's the worst gonna happen? Dirt's gonna pile up on us when we break through because we're probably underground. Yeah, remember that bear thing couldn't couldn't be destroyed. <laughs> Yeah, that thing is actually maybe that's what the wall is made of monocles. <laughs> How do you know the wall in this building are gonna be the same? <laughs> it kind of defeats the whole point of trapping us in here. We could just leave by smashing our way through. Maybe they didn't think of everything. Maybe maybe they're actually big dum dums. Give me gum gums that did this. We at least have to try. We have to believe in hope, in friendship to get through this. Our first priority should be seeing what can and cannot that what we can and cannot do. Okay. That's all I just said, not, can we cannot break. Who knows, maybe Monokuma isn't as thorough as he wants us to believe. Just shoot him in the eye. That seemed to work in UDG. And I'm pretty sure we're, we're destroying him, I think. Is there anyone else besides Jenny, Bubbles, and I who wants to volunteer for this? Oh, uh, freaking. <laughs> nope. Cartman doesn't want to. Maybe he can use his greasy hands to grease up the walls. <laughs> Hey, Lumpy, this is your chance. Are you talking to Ed like that? <laughs> Get up there and show him what you're made of. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He is, like, canonically the strongest character here. <laughs> I don't know, Eddie. Seems pretty dangerous. These these ge these generic walls are very dangerous. I'll give you the instant gravy mix if you can eat. Uh, you can eat if you break down that wall. <laughs> oh, boy. Whoa, what? <laughs> Bro just launched him 50 feet in the air. What? <laughs> Didn't take too much convincing on. Oh, did you just throw him up in the air? Flip him like a table or some shit? I'm, I don't know. Ooh, you're gonna help us, big ad? Oh, sure, why not? Wrecking Ball Ed reporting from duty, man. 
<laughs> At least he's dedicated to the meta. We, we need people that are, you know, willing to do the job. All right, then we got our team. Everyone get going onto the stage. What are they going to do? Are they going to stomp on the floor and make a break a hole through? <laughs> our four strongest members made their way on the front of the gym where everyone could see them in plain view. Man, imagine just sitting here for like hours just watching them all like attempt and fail. Someone probably amongst the group knows that they will never get out because they're the master. Yeah. Is there a mastermind? Maybe. That seems likely in a game like this. Looks like we aren't finished trying out methods of escape just yet. <laughs> we'll be here till we all like pass out because we waste all our energy. What do we do? <laughs> so we are probably taking a look around this building. Way the first oh my floor is gosh. Right? Yeah, what about it? Really? Just fall outside? Really of... We're actually a hundred feet up. To break through this. Yeah. No we got this guy. <laughs> we got him. We're escaping. No doubt about it. <laughs> yeah, the walls are made of cardboard. Totally. Guys are forgetting that this school was built by Membrane Labs. I don't know the exact specs or planning <laughs> specs. for Hoseek, but Dad's technology isn't something to be taken Walls aren't right? technology, though. They're just this walls. They're just trees. Cut them down. Superpower repellents. Robot beavers. Anything. <laughs> robot beavers? What? Ooh, robot beavers. He seems excited about that. And he's like, oh, I'm going to try to break beavers. down this wall. I want them to show up. Oh, yeah. Start. You've got magic, right? You want it on this? I mean, I guess. Why not? <laughs> Can't find my Wait, how was she able to do it to begin with? All the oh. portal stuff. I don't know. Maybe the wands. I don't. Are the scissors also magic? I don't, I don't know how she works exactly. I, I do know her character. I just don't know her very well. I'm beginning to question the ultimate magician status of her. All our talents are Bring fake. The one out they just need an excuse to take us to Hope's Peak. Which is why we got some of the most girl. interesting talents ever. And <laughs> Ed, Ed, I'm not very happy to be here. At his top tier. Let's all hit the same exact point so you know it's more, most force in one area. <laughs> Dipper knows. Dipper knows everything. He can see into the future. Ooh. We at least leave a scratch or a dent, maybe? The loud sound and shockwaves of the impact cause everyone in the room to jump. <laughs> God damn. With the walls, I'm sure they're still like perfectly fine. They're invincible. The vibrations were felt through the entire gym. Everyone was left in complete awe with nothing but silence remaining for those not on stage. <laughs> Damn. That is until the students were on stage spoke up. Did something happen? They, 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 turned, the, they turned everything black for a reason. Oh, wait. Oh, hey. <laughs> I was right. They were going to warn them. Well, how'd you get a black eye from that? <laughs> you weren't supposed to use your head. You were supposed to use your fists. Yeah. That's weird. It didn't feel tough. Was it like bending and stuff like that? Like, what did it feel weak? Maybe it has like uh, electromagnetic in, in all the walls to keep it from like collapsing or something. I don't freaking know. I don't even know if that's how it would work, but. Membrane labs. Still, no security alarms or anything. Hmm. Maybe if you go into the wrong place, maybe. Can't say I didn't expect this. <laughs> These chumps, I'm just letting them do this. I, I'm just enjoying this. It's very entertaining. If it was, if it were this easy, there'd be no point in even capturing us. Two attempts from some of the strongest students in the academy, and two fails as a result. <laughs> if we were to believe Star's magic is real, then that means both brute force and teleportation aren't viable options for escape. Damn, well... Murder seems very, very tempting right about now, actually. Suddenly, I feel very murderous today. But how? Who has the ability to make it so that even superheroes with otherworldly capabilities can't break themselves free? Is this all just how the school was built, or is there something else keeping us here? Someone has the ability to suck up all the powers from us. What the? Are they still uh, going? <laughs> what the hell? Oh wait, what? A boy, Lumpy. Show those girls who's wait, what? What is he doing? Wait, he's actually breaking. What the? Bro, what? The thickest in the business, baby. 
No wonder he has no brain cells. He beat them all out of him already. Oh, man. Please let Ed live. I want Ed to live. <laughs> oh, I'm, I can push myself at all. I am actually also invincible like Monokuma. I can do whatever I want. No, he's actually very smart. He's playing 5e chess. <laughs> yeah, he's trying his best. Bro, he's not gonna die if he gets, like, executed. <laughs> he's gonna live. Somehow, he's gonna be like, oh, I escaped somehow. He doesn't even know how he did. He just did it. Whoa. Okay, wait. Orange? Why do they bleed orange? What? Holy shit. What's with this guy? <gasps> That's interesting. Slow it down now, pal. Oh, he's, he's gonna actually knock himself. Okay, I thought he was invincible. <laughs> Maybe you should slightly take a little bit of his strength away. Okay, we need to get him. We need. All right, we're not gonna be able to stop him. <laughs> he's just—he's just on autopilot. He's a robot. He just keeps going and going. You can't—you can't get in his way. I guess that explains why there's orange on the ground now. Actually, Ed, are you all right? Even though you kind of did this to yourself, a little pasty, but yes. <laughs> bro is too casual about this. He—he he just do this all the time. Still, those wounds look pretty bad. We should get to the nurse's office right away. <laughs> Ed, no. Come on, big guy. You've done enough for the day. Man, Bubbles is like, I didn't want to see any blood, okay? I'll carry you there. Get you all bandage up. Okay, are you coming too, Eddie? No, fuck you. I don't I don't I hope you die. I uh I'm not that great at this kind of medical junk. Medical junk? Medical stuff's important. Why you call it junk? My big bro usually just told me to rub some dirt on it myself and walk it off. Well, that's not gonna help at all. Bro, you want him to die. That's how you get infections. Jeez, it doesn't matter. We need all the help we can get. Anyone else want to chip in? Let me help. I want to make up for Earl here. No, you did enough, okay? I don't know what I can do without magic, but I'll try. I respect you, Star, for that. Let me come too. I can help stitch his head back up. Stitch his head? Is that what people do? They stitch their head up? Did he crack his skull at all? Hopefully not. Great, that's plenty of people. Come on, we don't have time to waste. I'm sure his skull's already been cracked. There's probably like a hundred cracks in it. It's all already falling apart. <laughs> that was his only weakness. Uh, hey, um, why don't the rest of you guys leave this to us? Oh, are you kicking us out now, huh? You think you own this gym? Jenny and I are going to keep trying to break through this wall in the meantime. Okay, don't push yourself. <laughs> we don't need any more orange blood. It would mix in with her hair, actually, so it might be hard to tell if she's actually bleeding. I don't know how long it's going to take us, but we'll let you know when you guys see some progress. You guys seem already set. <laughs> you all seem all worn out and everything. Okay, you guys, you guys are goats, okay? Like, you don't need to keep going. Uh, maybe I'll help. Maybe I can try to help. I don't know. Maybe I just have the magical powers to open up any wall ever. Okay, hold on. And so we all split up up into unevenly numbered groups. Blossom and Jenny stayed back, continued trying to break the wall. At least it's not on the rules to, like, break property. So you technically could just literally just destroy this entire school and nothing would come of it. <laughs> Bubbles, along with Morty, Eddie, Mabel, and Star went to take Ed to the nurse's office in hopes of patching him up. He'll be fine. He has lots of blood in him. <laughs> and as for the rest of us... Oh, yeah, we can check out our room. I want to see what our room looks like. I'm sure it's going to be all, like, cartooned up and fit our, like, you know, where we come from. You know, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, we're back here. Oh, I love all the little monokumas everywhere. It's pretty cool. All right, what are we going to do now? <laughs> we're all speechless. We're like, what the fuck? <laughs> they're, gonna, they're not going to... Stop trying to play with my hair, stupid girl. <laughs> God damn. Sorry, I like brushing things when I'm nervous. Aww. It's all the blue characters that seem to just be like the nice ones here. I don't really know what's going on, but everyone seems so sad. So, what the hell are we going to do? <laughs> just eat food, you know? That'll, that'll help us. That'll get our dopamine up. Our two best options to get out of here have already been exhausted. What else do we even have left? Seems like the bear is really good at covering his bases. <laughs> That's one smart bear. He definitely doesn't want us to leave without playing the game. 
so I shall regain vengeance. The undisputed champion of this new competition. I will kill everyone. <laughs> Zim, you idiot. Don't you realize how insane this is? Oh, is he actually already thinking about it? Uh-oh. He seems like a first culprit. You're just in t as much trouble as as the rest of us. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not. I'm invincible. I'm not part of this game. I'm just here a spectator, you know. I could leave any time. Tsitsis. Sad dib. Always with the poor sportsmanship. Green with the envy of my amazing talents. Oh. <laughs> I don't have to point out the irony here, do I? Yeah, you can't get us out of here. You didn't even try. Now you were all busting their asses, literally. And then you weren't like just kind of like, eh, I'm just going to say funny words. That'll help us. Look, the point is, we're sitting ducks here. He seems like... You'll be useful, Kyle. If we're here for long enough, someone's gonna crack and won't be pretty. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's already cracked, literally. I mean, Ed literally cracked open. <laughs> you dare imply I would crack like like pigeon eggs? I would never kill. That's so bad. <laughs> Chapter 2, victim. <laughs> Culprit, I mean, <clears throat> stupid bear will never control me. It should be, be bowing before my feet like, l like the fiends. Before my feet like the fiends. Is. <laughs> I don't know why I just had a terrible time reading that. Vanetta is so strong. <laughs> don't you agree with me? Ew. Disgust I like how she's like brazing her and then like she's just like, fuck you. <laughs> Good. Then there's no reason for us to fight amongst ourselves. If we work together, we can at least keep each other from doing anything dangerous. <laughs> yeah, how are we going to keep tabs on every single person at all times? It's going to be pretty difficult. Regardless of how long this takes, no one here has to die. Oh, no. Well, everyone has death flags already. Well, why not? <laughs> That'll help. <laughs> I'm going to make you guys' life a living hell. No way. Not me. Wait, what? Wait, what is he going to do? Is he going to use him as a battering ram or something? <laughs> what do you mean, not now? Don't you see how this is going? I'm going to pick you up and slam you to the wall. That'll break open the wall. Think about our situation. And the people that are here. Whoa, don't act like you're not. Like, you're like a goody two-shoes that did nothing wrong ever. These kids chosen as the most talented people in the world, all of a sudden being locked up in a school and told to off each other. <laughs> Interesting choice of words. There's a formula that requires you to be skilled enough to get away with it undetected. Not to mention the difference in physical, mental, and economic power between all of us is enormous. Why are you talking all big brain right now? <laughs> that can only mean one thing. Someone's going to murder. <laughs> oh, oh, you're actually going to do like a creepy spread, aren't you? Oh, I can already feel it. Oh, yeah, look at you. <laughs> it's a game show, dude. <laughs> oh, no, we got the antagonist. Show. Right, man. The hell are you on right now? This is gonna be a great show. I think they'd make all of these rules if there wasn't some kind of end goal to it. <laughs> I mean, he's got a point, I guess. They were dead by now. Yeah, I guess that's true, yep. Means, whoever makes it to the end of this game alive must be getting some big reward. And you can say this in a less creepy, sinister voice, you know. Now, that'll that'll put us a little bit more at ease. A little bit. Not too much. Cartman begins to a disturbing rant on how he thought about all of us. So is he just going to just say, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're you're terrible. You're annoying. You're stupid. <laughs> just like all like the childish insults. But it wasn't a personal attack. It was a listing of how he thought the Host Peak snap, staff viewed us. How do you know? <laughs> how would you even think to even come to that theory of how that's possible? Let me put it in a way that's easier for you to understand, you dimwits that are so stupid and I'm way ahead of you in intellect. The people who put us here aren't focused on this being a game of equals. As the entertainment, we were all selected to be as, device, as diverse as possible when it comes to host peak roster of students. Hey, that does make sense, you know? We need a lot of variety, you know, so not everyone like is too similar, you know? The fact that the roster was carefully chosen is made even more obvious when you realize that out of the hundreds of assholes who signed up to be here, 80% of the captives seem to know at least one other person in this game. Yeah, what about it? <laughs> they just didn't have the resources to get every from all these different cartoons, you know? They, they were limited to eight. If the game isn't being made by someone who's already familiar with the school students and the inner workings, they definitely did their research. Who would know all these characters and only like these characters? They've set this up in a way where everyone can be broken down into groups based on how important they are. I, I think I do think I get, I get what he's getting at. One of them dies, like if 
I don't know, Powerpuff Girl dies and the other one's going to get upset and that's going to cause chaos at the top of their their list is likely the offspring of staff members that helped to build the academy along with super with superhumans that almost defy science so i'm glad we're getting theories already you know not just like oh i'm just gonna sit around and do nothing like let's think about this pretty self-explanatory there's worth they're worth more because their lives are precious to the higher-ups not to mention their sheer strength and talents and then they throw us in here <laughs> And then we have students that could be considered keys to the future scientific studies. How do you, how are they, I did not expect Cartman to be the smart though. The headmen probably have an interest in them do, in them due to their weird law bendings heck or because of who they're associated with. So what you're saying is these people are less likely to live, right? Maybe, I don't know. I feel like the invader sim characters might live a while. Then there's these weirdos. They're just kind of here just to shake things up, you know? <laughs> People with one special traitor, Discovery, that manages to push them above all, above the status of normal students. Not as groundbreaking as the previous tier, but just enough to be considered special. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what you're getting at, but it, it sounds smart to me. Oh man, you literally got everyone categorized. Finally, there's us. Well, I'm not part of this group, so you can't say us the filler. Wow. <laughs> no special traits or skills that could aid in scientific research. Just people that we know. We need people to die off, you know. We need people getting killed. And these people will be the ones that are killed. Normal people with miscellaneous talents that are unique enough to let us pass into the barrier of gifted. Although, barely. We're like the, we're like the D- minus students, I guess. These are the people that are intended to be at a disadvantage from the get-go. After all, a game show with rules like these are meant to benefit the strong and multifaceted. So that's what Eric Cartman's going to get get at. He's going to try to become strong. If he's strong and powerful, then they're not going to he's not going to die, you know. They're not going to want him to get killed off. I mean, it's a cool theory. That's a pretty arrogant way of thinking for someone who sees himself at the bottom. I am at the bottom. I'm climbing to the top. That's going to be the coolest arc ever. That's just how the ones controlling my Akuma feels. But I am at, but realistically I'm at the top. Making this into a game, then they almost certainly want to see an underdog rise to Oh, the I, can, I, I knew it. I had a feeling. Is gonna fill that room. Oh. They don't realize just how talented I am. I'm gonna fuck with all the crime scenes, even though I know the culprit. I'm just gonna make a fun game. to see this, but someone is watching. And we're. Yep, but we are the ones watching, huh? <laughs> yeah, you're on YouTube! You expect me to believe that I am being observed on screen? Yes, you are. You're caught in 1080p. Or 720p. But I'm taking this game <laughs> oh, don't say it like that. Everyone line up in a line. I'll just take one sniper shot and go bang. Everyone's gonna die. <laughs> Easiest game ever. Please sacrifice yourself. I'm gonna use you all as stepping stones. The fuck is wrong with you, Cartman? You think you're so much better than everyone else and then you start going dumb, start some dumb shit that almost gets everyone killed? I like how he's just immediately just like out of the gates like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm playing this game. I'm gonna fuck you guys over. I, I, wa I, wanna, I wanna see tomorrow, you know? I wanna see tomorrow outside of this school. Cause school fucking sucks. Can't you drop this shit for once? No. I want to be cool. Nah, dropping shit is for pussies. Oh, look at that smile. Or assholes, technically. Asshole pussies, that's what they are. Do whatever you guys want to do. But we're probably going to be here for a long time. But I might shorten that time. Wahaha. And let me tell you and, every, and anyone else who might be watching this. Fuck you. <laughs> I refuse to be filler. <laughs> Oh man, that, that he's probably gonna live a while then, right? Right? I want him to kind of live a while too. <laughs> That's a, oh oh yeah, he actually is thinking like eight dimensional because it's like if he's cool and antagonizing and makes the game interesting, why would anyone want him to die? The audience wouldn't want him to die, and neither would the mastermind. They make him a lot of money. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't dwell on this for very long. <laughs> Maybe we should do something about it. Maybe tie him up. Make him the filler. He just sits there in the corner, says nothing, does nothing. It's been a hard day for all of us. I think what we need right now is to rest up and figure out what is going, what we are going to do tomorrow. 
<laughs> That's a good idea. How are we going to do that? It's the only bed on this level is in the nurse's office. The dorms for this building are on the second floor, but the last I checked, they've been that's been blocked off. Maybe they opened up magically. Maybe we just never realized because we're all too focused on fucking breaking down a wall. Do you intend for me to sleep on the floor, do you? I mean, it's not the worst thing ever. It's like a giant sleepover. Right, way to put a positive spin on it, I guess. <sighs> I'm not saying you have to, but it is a possibility. Well, at least the floor is, you know, even and flat. You know, we could sleep on a table maybe. That's slightly more comfortable than, a, than the cold, hard floor. For now, let's all split up and find somewhere to spend the night. <laughs> it's better for all of us that we don't overwork ourselves in this place. As like everyone's been overworking themselves already. And then there's Cartman. <laughs> Agreed. We're just going to have to walk around looking for a fucking bed. Man, man, in this economy, we can't even get a bed. Come on, what kind of mess have I gotten myself into? <laughs> Man, I should have stayed home and said I was sick. God damn, stuck in this academy full of strange people. I wonder if anyone actually did that. Maybe there could have been a 17 student and they didn't just show up or something. I was supposed to be studying here, showing that I deserve to be among the most talented kids in my generation. But that immediately got shot down. Now that I'm looking for a comfortable piece of ground to sleep on. Damn, are they actually not going to get dorms this, 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 in this game? Uh, I better get searching fast. They have to get some sort of dorm, right? No? No? I mean, I guess it's a school, not a college, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what grade level this is or if it's like middle school, high school. Is it high school? It makes the most sense to me, right? Oh, here we go. It's open. Well, we, well, we can go up. Floor zero. That bar seems like it can fit through. But what? What Floor zero? Why can you go in the... I don't want to go down there. As I walked out on the cafeteria and into the hallway, I noticed something. <laughs> It is open. Oh, I like the flower. That, those, those, are, those are cool lights. Looks like the stairs are open. Gaz was just mentioning that these were blocked off the last time she checked. I haven't actually noticed them until now, but even so. Hey, look, we got the second floor already. That's good. The pathway leading downwards is still inaccessible. I don't even want to. That's... <laughs> It's like pitch black down there. There's probably Freddy Fazbear down there or something. I guess Monokuma still doesn't want us to see everything in his school has to offer. At least not yet. You have to kill to see it. Wait, whatever the case, I'll have to see what's on the second floor if I want any chance of getting out of here. So it's gonna probably, it's probably going to be dorms and then like a million other areas, right? Because we're going to keep going up, right? I don't know. Maybe maybe we just have to keep going down. I don't even know. Oh, there's a lot more up here. Oh, let's go. That's cool. Why are the men's and women's bathrooms so separate? <laughs> oh, this is cool. Ooh, I love this area. This area looks awesome. The hallway's a little sinister, a little creepy. Like, you can see Cartman standing down at the end of it being like, Oh, ha, 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 ha. I murdered someone. He's a bloody knife in his hand. Man, that was a long flight of stairs. Damn, how long do we have to climb up? Do we have to climb up like as tall as the Eiffel Tower to get here? I knew this building was big, but I didn't think they'd need such a large gap between floors. There's some. There's definitely hidden buildings in between there, building um, different rooms, maybe. Regardless, it looks like there's rooms here. Are these the dorms we're supposed to be staying in during our school life? Apparently. Oh, we got, we got Kablam here. Look at the mastermind people, probably. They sure are. <laughs> Wait, what? What? <laughs> what was that all about? They sure are. What was that introduction? <laughs> I was like, oh shit, I forgot my lines again. <laughs> what the? How did he know I was thinking that? Can you read my mind with a, that red eyeball zaps right through my brain? You can see everything. You can see all the neurons. Is he reading my mind? <laughs> all this remix is back before you ask. No, I can't read your mind. You just kind of prove the point that you kind of can, at least a little bit. I just got really bare intuitions, bro. <laughs> Man, are you gonna die first? What? Oh, I forgot it. <laughs> forgot what? <laughs> What's with the long face, Bojack? Is this killing game getting to me? I mean, no one's died yet, so it really truly can't get to me. I think once someone dies, it's like that's when the game like actually truly starts. Because that's when... Tr like, you see dead bodies, and there's people killing, and you can't trust anyone anymore. You know how it is. Wow, this thing is annoying. Hey, don't call me a thing in your mind. Look, I don't know what other tricks you've got up your sleeve right now, but I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> can't you just bother someone else right now? Okie dokie, just goes up and bothers everyone else. 
breaking the floor. Oh, don't worry. I'm just here to deliver something you're gonna need. Oh, is it like the little tablet thing? What is this song right now? It's like a remix of a billion things. Item collected. Let's go. The mono caller. Well, I can call Monokuma anytime I'm bored and lonely. I'm just like, <gasps> I need someone to talk to. Is this a smartphone? I mean, it seems like it's not just a smartphone. It's the smartest phone on the planet. The Monocolor. So does it mean I can connect to Wi-Fi like anywhere in the world? Maybe that'll help us get out. It was originally called the iBrand, but I changed it for branding purposes. iBrain? What? That's something to do with membrane, obviously. So this is originally membrane's lab technology. I stole it from membrane. Correcto mundo, you see, these special phones were made with each other, with each of you in mind. Well, thank you so much for thinking about me with making this phone. I got the Dipper Phone 16 or something. Not only do they act as regular phone capable of direct calls, text messages, gaming, and storage, and so on. Oh, let's go. We can game. But they're also the keys to your room. I'm sure the gamer uh, character is going to be really happy with that. Without them, you would have nowhere to shower, sleep, or whatever else teenage boys do alone at night. Well, I hope we don't lose this, I guess. I'm just going to ignore that. Yeah, it's best to just, like, uh, look over Monokuma's weirdness. <laughs> just place the open phone in front of the sensor, and presto, the door will unlock. Most of the phones are activated by fingerprint recognition, so no need to worry about forgetting your password. So if you cut off someone's arm, hypothetically, you can open up their door or whatever, and maybe hide their body inside. I don't <laughs> I'm thinking of already of how they're gonna murder each other, because we know what's happening. Well, it looks like a regular smartphone. <laughs> eh, does it? Does it look like a regular old smartphone? It looks like something they would make in Membranes Lab, just with a coat of paint. <laughs> they actually just spray painted it. And they got in the ports. God damn it, I can't charge it now. You didn't do something weird to this, did you? <laughs> No mind control apps or lists of ways to kill people. <gasps> Jeez, kid, you really think I'm that mean? I'm not a monster. Oh, we're so innocent here. We got, we did nothing wrong. Why are you so mad at us? For information, the only things you can access are that are any or any important. Oh, I can't read. Access are of any importance are the list of school rules and the maps of Hope Speak Academy. There's much, there's more miscellaneous stuff here and there, but that's all you need to know. We got a camera, so that might be useful. We can take photos of the, some crime scenes, maybe. And it's not going to explode? I already told you. It's a normal ass phone. You people are such pessimistically there. Oh, you guys are so on. Wait, hold on. Maple's here. Oh, hey, Dipper, and uh, I just caught that right at the perfect time. Okay, so it is definitely going to be very useful to keep track of the left side. Creepy bear guy. Oh, thank goodness Maple's here to save me from this awful conversation. Let's just go off, you know. Oh, wait, do we get rooms next to each other or across from each other, maybe? Damn it. Now that I'm not in the mood to give my speech again. <laughs> well, good. Hey, wait, what? Why are you hitting her? Here, you take the damn phone and have him tell you about it. I'm feeling tired. With the frizz? Wait, did I just hear with the frizz? No way. What the frick? <laughs> Man, is there is there a, just a song? Just like, just the song <laughs> somewhere on the channel. I've still got some more of these to hand out. So I, I can't be busy chatting with you ding-dongs. Wait, did I say ding-dongs? Yeah, it said ding-dongs. <laughs> Bro, these insults. <laughs> They're like the most random things ever, but it kind of catches me off guard. So it's a little funny. Weirdo. Maple, if you're here, then that means Ed is... Is Ed fine? Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. We patched him up, and now he's resting in the nurse's office. Does he have permanent scarring on his brain now? <laughs> he's always going to have a bandage around his head. The others are still looking after him, but I decided to come and find you. Oh, thank you for finally deciding to try to talk to me. Well, that's a relief. Something tells me he's, he's probably done things like this before. <laughs> Poor guy. Eh, it's just an everyday thing, you know? So, what's up with these phones? Are they expl- <laughs> Does everyone just assume it's a bomb? Apparently not, but we probably shouldn't let her guard down either way. Let's just always keep it a distance away from us, you know. Mono TV said we're supposed to use them as keys to our rooms, and that's all they can do. Totally. Oh yeah, this is the dorms area, isn't it? That's perfect! Finally we get to sleep. Wait, what are we gonna do? Let's check out your room and look for clues! Yeah, looking for clues! <laughs> Hey! 
Uh, and I think I'm going to end it there. <laughs> I'm going to end it on a cliffhanger, even though I'm sure you've, most of you have all already seen this, all right? But yeah, I'm enjoying this so far. Uh, so we get two areas to explore. We got the prologue area we got to explore. Now we're exploring the S area in chapter one. So uh, I'm really liking this fan game. It's really been very entertaining. I'm very excited to see where they go with Cartman in particular because antagonists are always going to be fun. So how much he's going to help us or harm us or maybe do a bunch of both, uh, we'll have to see. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, you know what to do. Subscribe if you're brand new. And of course, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!